Uh, so I'm Sandy Blanchet. I'm the UNICEF representative to Panama. I think what GIGAS bring to UNICEF in Panama is the combined credibility of UNICEF and ITU. Now as UNICEF, we are known for our work in education. Uh, we have a strong credibility in that, uh, in that area. And ITU is the world's organization for telecommunication standards. And so combining these two mandates and the two agencies really brings added value to our work in, in, in Panama. Um, that's one thing. The second thing is that also GIGA has some very specific experience and expertise. So they can share, for example, good practices from other countries. And that's very valuable when we talk with the, with the government that they can show that this is how it works in other countries. And the expertise is also very specific. So in Panama, for example, we need to work really on, on procurement, procurement of internet connections. And this is something that UNICEF alone cannot uh, do, but GIGA is bringing us this very specific, high-level expertise. So we started with GIGA less than a year ago. So really we're looking at, at less than 12 months of, uh, of joint work, but already I find the results very satisfactory. Um, the first thing that happen is that actually the Ministry of Education in Panama mapped out its own school. So that was, uh, that was uh, a commitment of the Ministry of, uh, of Education. Um, then what we did with them is, and with GIGA, is we brought all the stakeholders around the tables. Then again, UNICEF has a very strong relationship with the Ministry of Education. We talk to them every day. But what we don't, uh, the, the, the other stakeholders we don't talk to are, for example, the regulation authority for public co contracts or the Agency for Innovation. GIGA allowed us to bring all these partners around the same table and agree on a diagnostic. And that was the first huge step, agree where the problem is. From there, we developed an action plan. And with this action plan, we had the endorsement very recently from the Ministry of Education, and we got the political commitment of the Ministry of Education to convene a high-level meeting at the beginning of 2024 to bring, again, all the stakeholders at the decision-making level to say, okay, what are we going to do to fix the problem? And we have an incredible opportunity because the contract that the government of Panama has with internet service providers runs until 2025. From our point of view, we want to use next year to really start working with them and provide them with technical assistance with the help of GIGA to change this contract to make sure that um, the government of Panama gets good value for its money because the government is investing already a lot of money, $35 million every year, but that's not getting internet to every child, to every school. So we need to help them to improve this contract, this public contract, and make sure that in exchange, they get good services for schools and for children. So we're super excited to partner with GIGA on working with the government of Panama. We have political commitment. We just need the technical expertise of GIGA. We need the relationship that UNICEF has developed at the, at the local level for the past 30 years. And I really am convinced that together in a few years, we can say all the schools in Panama are connected. We've been talking a lot during this meeting about the importance of scaling up and sustainability. And that's really much the way UNICEF is working in many countries in the, in the, in the world, including Panama, which is a high income country with a high level of uh, inequalities. And for that, we need to engage the state. It's not the funding from the private sector that's going to make a difference. It's really the state budget. It's, the state is the only institution that can scale up at the national level and maintain that, um, that effort. However, we do need to partner also with the corporate sector. It's interesting that in Panama, the top two internet providers are partners of UNICEF because we do a lot of private sector engagement. So I look forward to having a discussion with our private partners that is going to be a bit different. It's not about giving money to UNICEF. It's about their role to make sure that in their contract with the government, they're providing quality services and they're delivering for children. Um, but I think that the fact that we are already partners with the private sector will help us in that discussion and we can work as a bridge in this, uh, in this uh, important dialogue. We can increase the quality and we can increase the reach because right now 40% of schools are not connected even though the government of Panama is paying for 100% of the schools to be connected. So with GIGA what we're trying to do is help the government negotiate a better contract with the private sector so that ultimately really every school, even those in the most remote jungles in Panama, will be getting quality 
internet connection.